Hi, this is Melanie for Days Reviews, and I'm here to review the Tamil film Manada. If you're new to Birdies Reviews, I do trailer reactions and film reviews of Indian cinema. Wow, what a good feeling to come out of a really good movie. Oh my gosh, <laughs> this movie was so good, so good. I love a good time loop kind of movie like um, Groundhog Day, <laughs> which is a classic made in the suburb of Chicago, one of my favorite films. But this film takes that concept of someone repeating the same day over and over and over again to new levels. And it's all around a thriller concept. He's trying to prevent something horrible that happens. Each time that he's killed, he wakes up again and it's a new day. The director is Venkat Prabha and he also wrote this brilliant script. I mean, brilliant. The editor is Praveen KL, who um, I've had the pleasure of interviewing. You did an amazing job with this. When I saw the trailer, I knew this was something extraordinary, but wow, I am super impressed with the editing of this film. Because even though we're repeating the same day over and over again, it still feels fresh. The star of the film, Salam Barasan, I've only seen in Mani Ratnam's um, CCV film. Um, so I haven't seen like a completely star vehicle of, of his before. I'm a stan at this point. Like I need to know what other films I should see of him because wow, <laughs> I'm really impressed. Though just there's so many wonderful things about this film and innovative too. I love how they name check a lot of the other time loop kind of movies. And at one point, one of the characters says, what do you think I'm in Christopher Nolan's Tenet? Like, you know, I mean, they're even referencing Christian, Christopher Nolan. Oh, I love it. Um, it has a great villain played by S.J. Surya. So that adds another dimension. Like, I mean, and I, I cannot spoil what happens at the interval point, but it adds a complete new dimension to the whole time loop thing that we've seen in films many times before. But this just adds a whole <laughs> other thing on top. Oh my gosh, wow. I love the whole setup. This guy wakes up on a plane every time there's a time loop. He's on his way to a wedding. And there's this whole thing where he's trying to uh, escape, you know, get the bride out of there for because his friend really wants to marry her. So there's all of that. But then something happens as they're on the run from that. And they get into a situation that they couldn't, they don't even know what's happening. And then that's the thing. When um, he's playing a Muslim character, which I, I, I really appreciated the whole message of this film it's like he they're purposely picking this character because he'll be framed as a terrorist for killing a politician and the name of the film is conference because the assassination is supposed to happen at a huge political conference and or convention conference whatever and it's just amazing how he tries to figure out how to stop this horrible thing from happening. How, and you know, the problem is if you fix one thing, then a different thing happens. And so he keeps having to think of new and more inventive ways to get to the root of how did this start? I only have this one day, I have this limited time. How can I make a change so that um, I can finally make it through this one day and get to the next day? Now. I didn't realize there was going to be an end credit scene, by the way, and stay all the way through the closing credit bloopers and behind the scenes and there's a song and then there's a little closing credit scene. I stayed just to see it. Rake subtitled the film. It was fantastic, <laughs> of course, and I got all the jokes and everything. Um, I stayed to see her credit at the end of the film. I will say... There was one flashback scene at the towards the end that didn't have her subtitles, and that just made me 
realize how much, you know, I was just totally absorbed in the film until that one moment because um, her subtitles were carrying me through. There's really only one song um, because there's a wedding in the opening um, part of the film. And, you know, I really loved uh, Salambaras on dancing. That was very fun. But that's not the main, romance and dancing is not the main focus of this film. It's a thriller and it's a really good thriller. Oh my gosh. Like I, I, I mean, I've seen time loop movies before and this was so well done. Standing on the shoulders of what other films have done and going beyond. So I'm just urging you to see this film because it's such a good time. It's such a good film. Oh. Yeah, I talked to some people coming out of it and they said they went in with no expectations. And I'm like, this is one of my favorite films that I've seen this year. It's so good. All right. I didn't want to spoil anything in this review, so I'm not going to discuss what happens in the second half. But let me just say it was absolutely delicious. <laughs> uh, S.J. Surya is the same um, actor who played the villain in Spider, which not everyone liked. But I thought he was the most inventive villain you know, he was fantastic as a villain in that. So some people just have that kind of a face, I guess. I don't know, but he was really good as a villain in this. And just the second half, oh my gosh, the humor that he brought to it too. <laughs> All right, I like the message of this film. I like the thriller aspects. The writing was impeccable. The direction was fantastic. The story was so good and... Uh, I mean, the editing was just off the, off the chain. So highly, highly recommend you see this film. All right, if you've seen it, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Follow me on Twitter at PerdaisyYT. Follow me on Instagram at Perdazy Reviews. And if you hit the bell here when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer action or film review.